I'm just there watching my daddy just stepped back into the house. Mm. Oh Lord! The beating we received that day. My daddy flogged us so much that it was like we needed to change our clothes because of the beating. And we we're like, Daddy, we want to change. They said, No, go to church. Like, so we went to church and everybody, like when you see us, you know that they you just me loose and set me free. Hi guys, welcome back to Time Out with Praise. My name is Praise Guy, your amazing and beautiful host with the sauce, vibe, ginger, and everything. And will I say welcome back? Okay, welcome back, and also welcome back to myself. I know you guys missed me because I had calls and messages. That praise, when are you going back to podcasting? So after my birthday, okay, let me introduce my guest. My beautiful guest, her name is Mimi Shagai. If you know me, you know that this is my younger sister. I love her so much. She's Miss Popular, like everybody knows Mimi. Sometimes I'm working with her, somebody's greeting, I'm like, where do you know that person from? She has a very sweet and lovely personality. And she's a businesswoman, she's a sports lady. Too many talents in one human. Welcome, Mimi. Hello, everyone. Yeah, welcome. Okay, so let me go back to saying after my birthday, I just like vanished. I just wanted to like have a long time and just to think and um, just to reflect basically. And then um, I think I had more than enough. So I, I was away for like over a month. I just wanted to just absorb all the things, like all the things going on. And yes, I've done that. So I'm back again with another episode of Time Out with Praise. Hey, drum rolls. <laughs> okay. So the topic for today is coping with strict Nigerian parents. And hmm, Mimi, do we have strict Nigerian parents? Like our parents, are they strict Nigerian parents? My parents are very strict, like very, very strict. Eh? Your parents are very strict. Thank uh, God they watch Your parents it. are very strict too. Eh. Yes. Okay. Really? Very strict. So how do you know your parents are strict? Like, how can you differentiate them being strict and them being wicked? Because some people, if you ask them that, ah, is your parents strict? They say, yes, ah, very wicked. So how do we differentiate parents just being strict and parents who are actually wicked because some people are wicked parents but thank god we don't so mimi let's go <laughs> to start with i think if you know if you understand english you know the difference between when someone is being wicked and when someone is being strict she's you. clearing you people if you understand meaning because be, meaning that you you must understand english so that you know what she's talking about because i think if someone is strict to you they are not trying to do it out of wickedness mm. or out of okay i don't like this person it's because they want the best for you yeah because there are some situations you find yourself you yourself you know if i don't like this person anything this person wants to do they should, they should do. i don't care yeah. what the outcome will be but if you like this person you would give them a strict and uh, don't do this thing even if it can cause a fight between you that moment yes yeah. but later when the outcome comes you yourself will know that okay it's not because the person hated me it is for my own benefit even mm. if that time he deprived you of many things though but you know later that okay it's for your own benefit, benefit. So i think my friends are strict because there are some things i know my mom has stopped me from going like all this uh, maybe outings. My mom stops me from going, or my dad. So like my dad now, nah, if you tell me you want to go somewhere, my dad, he will give you reasons why you yourself not want to go, and he will bring it to Bible, we'll show you in the Bible. So even yourself, that's that thinking that ah, wait, I'm never going again. Or even if he tells you, okay, you can't go, you say, I'm not going. Going again. Yeah, yeah. By the time you explain <laughs> what happened to Dina in the Bible, how she went to visit the daughters of the land and she was raped, you self, you that outing, you you start changing your mind that. That you you give it maybe, maybe, thoughts. maybe I don't really need to go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have strict parents. And then uh, both of our parents, like, are they both strict? What do you think? Do you think our dad is strict and our mom is strict? Because most times I hear people saying, oh, my dad is the strict one. My mom is the, um, how do I call it? My mom is the one who isn't really strict. Or they'll say, oh, my mom is the strict one. My dad isn't really strict. So from our parents, our dad and mom, who is the strict one or are they both strict? 
I think my both parents are strict. Hey! But it's just that <laughs> my dad is just a person he uses the rod the more. In the bag, like the way they say, the rod, the rod jams full inchiness from the out of a child. So hey, that is good at using that one very well. No, that is the case. Well, my mommy doesn't be told, but when she gives you a piece of her mind, oh, oh, oh Jesus, you prefer they should be too. That, that's it because, because it's to keep bringing you, you know, like people, you say, ah, or before you do it again, say, ah, if mommy was here, she said this word to me, you you quickly come down and say, yeah. no, I'm not doing, I'm not going there. So I believe my both parents are strict, uh huh, but my daddy. Because I don't think anybody loves skin except you're abnormal. So I believe <laughs> most people would say my dad is more shit because he's the one that beats. Yeah, it's the one that plucks. It's the one that uses the rod. He uses the rod very well. Very so, good at using it. Using it. Because they said the um, rod ch- um, drives out foolishness from your child. Yeah. So my dad will flog us sometimes and he will read that past words so that you know that it is the foolishness in our heart is driving out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I agree with what Mimi said. I think our both parents are strict, but my dad is the one who does the flogging and my mom is the one who uses her mouth. Ah, but her mouth is going to pepper you into your soul. Years after, you still be hearing, like, you be hearing that thing that she said in your ear anytime you want to do something like that. And to add to what Mimi says, sometimes when I'm about to maybe do something wrong, I don't even, like, I don't remember plug you know that oh my dad is going to beat me rather i remember oh my mom would like this so ah if my mom says sees this and she will talk or she she won't like this so, so sometimes is it even the person that doesn't flog that allows us to rethink mm-hmm. our actions sometimes okay that one is by the way so can you talk about your experiences or what have been strict nigerian parents is like like what is it like for you mm, i guess it has actually I many times we have all these outings like school outings but instead of even before going to ask them i just like i know their response already so instead of asking them i just tell them okay i can't go oh but there are some things that i know okay if i want to go out i will be able to go because someone like my dad is very sporty so if it's like a sports event now if i tell my you dad you won't mind taking me take me and stay there but my mom, my mom doesn't like sport. Of course, I've injured myself time with that number. Then I tell her sport, I should just know that that's a red card. That say, I should not know about it. You are not going. But so far, I know it's sport. I can get me my mom. And but random outings. Random outings. Random outings. I can still get meet my mom. So we talk to her and explain to her why I can go. She will explain to her why I cannot go. Then we we'll talk. Then end up on confession. Yeah, you said then we'll on So how, like, how do you feel like do you like do you like the experience of having strict parents like would you say oh i i myself i want to be a strict parent or do you feel like oh you've been deprived of of some things because you have a strict parent or because you have strict parents mm, i don't feel sometimes i feel i've been deprived but sometimes when i think about it that okay the people that have strict parents there are some things we actually we say we are deprived of or let me say they put some of us in body now then we now come out and say uh oh, we have not been into the world they used to go out some something all that people that don't have strict parents many of them wish to have parents like your own because some of them later regress it maybe they go out to parties god forbid or something, something bad, bad happens, happens. Yeah. what would they say then they will be like i wish that my parents that i wish my parents me. didn't allow me to go mm. i wish my parents taught me things like that so but the thing is, I think parents are not even meant to be that strict so they will have a relationship with their children. So mm-hmm. their children will be able to explain to them because they will be like, my parents are strict, so I will sneak out. But if they have a relationship with them, they can explain to you that you explain to them, okay, why they are you not meant to, to go, go yeah. and why you, you want to go mm-hmm. or where you benefit. I think your parents too, they are not witches or wizards. Exactly. They would be able to think with you that, yes, okay, and understand from your own point oh, exactly, of view. Exactly, yes, understand. Because they, they were also children and they enjoyed themselves. So they can't say, okay, they won't allow their child to... So definitely, your parents want you to enjoy, the, you enjoy yourself. No. So, uh, like she has said, I agree with her. I don't feel like, oh, be, having strict parents have deprived me of anything. Oh, there are some experiences that I would have said, oh, if my parents were a bit less strict, maybe I would have been allowed to do some things. But then I feel like at the end of the day, you go to a stage whereby you can always do anything you want. So, when you are with your parents or you are under their roof, I think abide with their rules and regulation for peace to reign. 
so that it's not like oh this child is just disobedient and never listens so the experience is uh, it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad okay so do you think people with less strict parents are lucky similar to what we just talked about that do you think they are lucky that ah man this person is lucky let me give an instance so one time um i myself and my brother we were supposed to be at church and we thought our daddy had gone out to church already so because he left early and then we just stayed back to watch movie you know those sunday morning movies and we we're just like don't worry we'll quickly watch it and then we'll go to church oh the devil was at work that day the devil prepared soup for us as we were just there watching my daddy just stepped back into the house mm. oh lord the beating we received that day my daddy flogged us so much that it was like we needed to change our clothes because of the beating and we we're like that they want to change they say no go to church like so we went to church and everybody like when you see us you know that they just finished flogging these That's people nice. and when they saw us people were looking at us like this and everybody had something to say so people were like oh my god my daddy has not flogged me for 15 years oh my god my daddy has not flogged me in my life oh my god my nobody flogs in our house and everybody was just like oh my god and daddy i was just looking at all of them that okay they did not flex so what should i do like will i say i'm unlucky to have strict parents so from no, at all um i will say people that don't have strict spirits are lucky and people that have strict spirits are unlucky okay in our own perspective people that have strict parents they are lucky too mm -hmm. because you have a strict parent they will actually prevent you from doing many things that later in the future you will regret mm. because they said what an adult sees sitting down a child can't see even on a tree mm. so the adults when they stop you from doing something it's not because they hate you it's because they have seen what can happen the bad mm. side of the thing or they from have experience yeah it. from experience some parents they say okay they don't allow their daughters go out or stay out late they stay out late it's because maybe they have heard about all this raping or something or something like that happens to one of their friends or someone they know and they never and your parents can never want evil for their child mm -hmm. like please don't stay out late but when they are saying it, it's like our parents are so big so I, I believe we are very lucky to have parents that even that are wise enough to let us know because there was a story i heard about one man i think he was stealing we bring his home his mommy would tell him good boy Later, when he ended up as a good arm robber, that they caught him, that they tied him. To, she said his last wish. They told him. He told them to call his mommy. Bit of a year. That why didn't she tell him the right thing? That why didn't she correct? That him why didn't she correct him when he was wrong. younger? But in that type of situation, she has corrected him. He said his mommy hates him. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. But because she didn't correct him, and now he has grown up to be a professional, that they have to kill him now. He's now regretting it, and she's also regretting it. And when our parents correct us, it's not only for their own benefit mm. or only for our own benefit. Yes, because, because sometimes, actually, let me, sorry for cutting you short, because sometimes we feel like, oh, eh, it's because of the, their self, they don't want us to go out because they don't want um, to look bad in front yeah. of people. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's not about them alone. So yeah. you can go on. Yeah, it's not about them alone. Because imagine, let's say, okay, you say, I'm because she are a pastor child. And I say, okay, my mom and I don't want me to go out because they are pastors. They don't want church members to be saying. It's not matter what they should be saying. If anything later happens to you, or you grow up and become a bad child, they won't say so so person's child alone. They would mention your name before they won't think about your parents. Mm -hmm. Your parents. They will first mention things. your name before they will not say okay or most also or would train the child. But it is you yourself that would be there. Yes. So it's a slap on your face more than even coming to your parents at all so i believe having a straight parents doesn't mean you're unlucky you are very very lucky and people that don't have strict parents many of them turn out good is the ones that maybe life decisions i like feel like life that. decisions yeah. because some people have strict parents and still turn out to be worse than yeah their parents don't even talk to them or very people that true. don't even have parents to train them yeah some people don't have parents but they turn out to be like you Excellent. see them and you're like this is my role model yeah so it's not because of the parent but they themselves the foundation they built for themselves, for themselves. so that's you not deciding to even though you have to take the, the advice you have not. strict parents you have decided to take the advice or not or to just be good for yourself so you can't say oh i'm blaming my parents for being become turning out bad in life no 
whether you have strict parents or you don't, you should have that self determination to be better for yourself. Okay, so um, my next question is Do you think having strict parents uh, has made you better? It's similar to what we just said. Do you think it has made you a better person? It has made me better in many, many ways. Like, mm. many ways. Because I'm this type of person, I'm an extrovert. I yeah. like going out a lot. Mm. I love you like activities. Like I like making friends, activities. But yeah, sometimes I just see, even if the person is sound, I know, okay. Maybe the person has a bad attitude too. I just try and like try and make up, like just uh, change. Give now, excuses change. for just, them. Exactly, I give excuses for them that like, the person them. can become better. The person can become better. But me having, parents, I know the type of parents I have, so I make sure there's a limit. Mm. I make sure the person doesn't influence me because I know if my parents should know that okay, this is the type of person you are keeping I'm as a with, friend, mm. they won't be happy. Mm. There are many times I've made mistakes. There have many friends that when I come, my mom will just look at me that hmm, you have started a girl thing correct actually. Your grandmother has that little thing correct actually. I'm just laugh about it. When the person goes, then she'll call me and talk that this type of attitude, will you like to be found among them? Yes. So she won't say, draw away from the friend. Mm -hmm. My mommy doesn't criticize people mm -hmm. at all. She'll just give me reasons that help the person to change. And if I tell her that I've been trying, no, mm -hmm. mommy, I can't help the person to change, yo, mm -hmm. this one, that one, she tell you, please don't let anybody affect you. Don't or let anybody influence you. Influence you negative negative yeah. things. Because there are many times that I would say, I've seen all these um, home parties that some of them are even my friends organizing. But I don't like, I'm even just losing shares because I'm like, I don't go there on you know. So I will like just start one day. Yeah. Or I might even say, okay, I'm ready to go, you know. It's time for me to, I'm not able to go again. If you're not going, I would yeah. have lost shares because it's not a normal thing yes. for me. Because it's just like saying, you take it's just like there's a problem that say you can only force us to do water you cannot force it to drink water mm. no matter what you tell the person to do so far that is not how you are stop it it's just like taking someone that is very good at football you not carry them to go play basketball yes wear them to start making being the champion it's not possible there are techniques in sports mm. just like there are techniques in life mm. there are some things you have to pass through to be a good person mm. so it is when you start getting influence 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 that you cannot totally become a bad person but you if you know who you are the, they say yes. remember the daughter of who, who you, you are. are if you mm -hmm. know the person you are you know that okay As my parents will not be happy with this so my parents are strict too mm -hmm. my parents it's not because they are wicked though, but because they love me yeah and also if you have elder ones that are very very that you know ah you look forward to say ah, my sister, she's mm. a good person. She won't I do won't, this. She won't do this. So, or what will my sister do in this type of situation? Yes. What will my brother do in this type of situation? Ah, I won't want to bring shame to their face. So, or mm -hmm. if my sister's friend should see me, my brother's friend should see me, what would they say? Mm -hmm. In that type of situation, there's no way you won't want to do bad things. Yeah. Because I don't think anybody would want to be embarrassed. Even yeah. if not embarrassed, but you won't want to be mogged now that... Is it not you she's like the bad sheep of the she's family. The sheep. Yeah. She's the black one. Mm. Ah, if you go to their family, all of them are good children. Just yes, except, except. <laughs> you won't want to hear that. that. Mm. So that's true. So when she was talking about you, when you have strict parents and some things don't seem interesting to you again, I have a story to tell. So uh, when I was in 211 in the university, I came back home for holiday, and um, one of my secondary school friends who had um, traveled abroad like he lives abroad and he went back after secondary school and then he came back home for holiday and luckily for me unquote luckily and unluckily for me <laughs> i was at home and then he, he just calls me out of the blue and he's like grace what's up guess what i'm in nigeria i'm in ibadan i was at home in ibadan he was like i'm in ibadan what's up would you like to hang out like let's go out and I just thought, I just really like to go out. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, yes. And he's like, okay, what's up? I'm like, okay, let me, let me talk to my mom. I'll call you back. And do you know what I did? I didn't talk to my mom because I knew our response was going to be, no, you can't go. So I just sat down for a while. And then I called him back and I'm like, my mom says I can't go. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. But it's fine. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. 
And then I think a day after, I now told my mom that, ah, mom, do you know this person is around? And she's like, oh, wow, that's nice. I'm like, ah, they even said we should go out. My mom was like, eh, go out now, right? Uh, go. And I'm like, go, okay. Me, I told him you you said no. And I said, why, why are you lying? Why are you lying with my name? And I was laughing. She was like, why are you lying with my name? And I'm like, but on a normal day, you would have said I can't go. She was like, and you would have asked me and and even get my feedback but then in my mind i was just like i can't go and you know that even up to now that i have the the um i have the freedom to go anywhere i want this one is she doesn't have the freedom yet i do <laughs> please i do but then even now that i have the freedom to go anywhere i want i still like i i still have that will i say um rule like unwritten rule that there are some places you will not catch me there's still that those rules that may I have written for myself because of how I grew up. There are just some places you will not catch me, and you can't just meet me on our ways and say, Let's go out. Like I always plan myself very well, and I know the places I am found. So having strict parents, there's a way it influences and shapes your life. Let's let's just face it like that. But there's something I want to say. Okay. There's some there's a new my all my friends call me because most of them they like going out. They okay. call me almost get inside. Hmm. And I just laugh about it because. And most of them, I'm older than them, but whenever they are going out, I just say, I'm not going. Or I'm like, my mom won't allow me. And they're like, mm, I'm going to get inside. Even when I was doing my birthday lately, this early second one, they're like, mm, you're adding a new age, but you're still an to get inside. I just did that when I love them. I'm like, keep, no problem. Because I know it's influencing me good. Yeah, in a good, good way. way. It's, yeah, not, it's, yeah, positively. it's not negatively. It's positively it's affecting me. So it didn't really affect me. Well, Actually, I was feeling bad, but later I thought of it that way. I'm almost get inside. Doesn't mean I'm doing something bad. Mm -hmm. It's just that my parents does, they don't like me to be too exposed. So yes, going to places you, you are not meant to be found or things like that. Okay, but for what she has said now, we are not saying that you shouldn't let your children go out at all or you should restrict their movements because there are some experiences that in, we as individuals we, we have to experience ourselves. So we should, there should just be a limit or there should be like a timetable. The child should know that, okay, these are the times where you can go out. You should be back before this time so that day to day experience life. And they are not like, they are not like too, like too covered. Like they don't know what is happening. And when they are found in places where they should have reasonable conversations, they don't know what to say, say because yeah. they have not gone anywhere. So they sh it should just be like, there should be a limit to it. That's and what we, we are able, saying. We should if we are street prayer, we should be able to communicate with our children. Mm, very because important. Because someone like my dad, the way he beats people, some children are like, ah, are you not scared of your dad? And I'm like, why would I be scared of my dad? There are times that, because I know he's someone that likes sports, so I would to use that one as an excuse. Maybe two of us are watching maybe basketball together. I cannot sit down with, with him and just bring up something. And he says, okay, no problem. Because there was a day, I think, okay, I wanted to go out to go and swim with my friends. So we were talking, I was giving food in the room, we were playing, everything. They had to answer that they want to go out with my friend. And it was like, okay, I was very shocked. Like, I was shocked. You're I looked at him, him to question you. So, yeah, I don't know. But he just said, okay, no problem. When are you going? I was not, I was first confused that he didn't hear me well. No, I was very <laughs> <going on. laughs> But I was shocked. But I was like, if it's that I'm lying to him, I'm covering up. You won't want me to go. Mm -hmm. That's so it's better we just tell them. It's not every time they will tell us yes. Yes. So we shouldn't mm -hmm. be expecting positive answer. Like yes, yes, yes. It's mm -hmm. not possible. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we will hear no, and mm -hmm. they will tell us why. Yes. And we, too, we should understand. Mm -hmm. Every day is not Christmas, as they used to say. Yeah. So it's not every day we should expect. Okay, but we, we should. Go. But we in, go. in everything, we should learn to communicate to, yeah. with them. Instead of lying, because I know some people will be like, ah, because my dad is strict, I always lie to him, or because my mom is strict, I always lie to her. That when I lie to her, I get away with things. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it can backfire. Imagine a child lying to the parents that they are going to a place that they didn't go to. In this society, God forbid, if the person is kidnapped and they go to that place, they say, oh, I'm going to watch the movies at so 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 cinema. Yeah. And then, God forbid, something happens, the child is kidnapped along the way. What will the parents say? If they ask parents, where did they say they were going to you say mm, cinema yes, yes. and that's not where the person went to so in as much as being strict sometimes makes you to not be able to give your parents the full information try as much as possible 
because you don't know what might happen an emergency can occur but because you have said the right thing they know that, ah she said she's going to shola's house definitely let's call shola they're able to still trace you and god we we protect all of us in everything if you can't even be close to both of them be close, close to, to one, one that yes. you can still talk to like our family not everybody's close to my dad but we are close to our mom so we can see be open to us so he wants to communicate to daddy say it's his wife that we are tell, tell mommy, mommy please help us tell yeah. daddy so so don't be like ah my both parents are strict i can't talk to any of them just find one of them that you can always talk to like she said now uh daddy is strict so we are always very he's a stricter parent so we are always very careful about what to say but then we still have those conversations sometimes. Yeah. There are sometimes you are like, Daddy, we need to have a family meeting. And everybody's pointing out their hearts. Daddy, I don't like when you did this. And in as much as we are strict parents, like we have strict parents, or you watching is a strict parent, learn to allow your children to be able to speak up. Allow them to say their mind. That's one thing my daddy allows. My daddy will be like, okay, what do you think? And then you just find a middle ground. So... And explain, and, to communicate, your, and explain basically. your actions, like the reasons for your actions. Yeah. But someone like my dad, when he beats you, he doesn't like it. So he would come and explain to you that okay, she know yeah. the reason why I beat you mm -hmm. is this, so so so. And you yes. yourself will feel really that mm -hmm. okay, what I did was mm -hmm. wrong there, daddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. And that's how because it's not right how you say you are keeping grudges with your dad. dad or, okay, yes. because he beat me, I will not talk, talk to him. Because he beat oh, me, some I will people will be like, Oh, because my dad beat me, I hate him. Mm -mm. At all. They are yeah. not doing it because they hate you. That's a very important thing you need to know. Parents are not strict because they just ate that child. If they ate you, they won't even tell you the truth. They will allow you to, bad things to happen to you. But they are doing it out of love and because they want you to be a better person for yourself and even for your generation. Because if you are a bad person, your children will also say, ah, is it not the child of that man, that mm -hmm. bad person? So in everything, as your parents are strict or you as a strict parent learn to be able to communicate with your parents or learn to be able to communicate with your children and give them reasons for your actions so that they don't seem confused ah, why is this person saying i should not do this thing oh i have enjoyed enjoyed recording this episode with mimi thank you so much mimi okay. mm, thank you darling i really appreciate having this time to have this conversation with mimi because i've actually learned a lot from her and you, you never know, tomorrow we might be the strict parents. Yeah. So it's good that we have this conversation so that you can actually know how children look at you as strict parents. That Okay, so you're able to explain to them, this is why I'm saying you shouldn't. And it should be from little, even a one-year-old child, two years. Explain to them, this is why daddy is saying you shouldn't do this, so that they don't think that daddy is just wicked unnecessarily. Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Um, like you always know, if you want to reach out to us on Instagram at Time Out with Praise, on Twitter at Time Out with P, on Facebook, Time Out with Praise. And if you would like to send a message for sponsorship, advert, or anything you want, Time Out with Praise at gmail.com. You guys have been amazing. Don't forget to like this episode, drop your comments. How do you think your strict parents have influenced your life? drop your comments and tell us if you think you are a strict parent or tell us if your parents who are strict don't even know they are strict thank you guys for watching this episode of time out with praise you guys are amazing and shout out to mimi i'll drop her and you can follow her on instagram and, and i pray she doesn't steal all my subscribers <laughs> she steals all my friends every time they're like oh it's mimi and i'm like you have not even asked me how i am you're asking now it's mimi <laughs> But, oh well done Bola Costa. <laughs> thank you guys you guys have been amazing don't forget to subscribe 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 share the link let somebody else listen share the link to your strict dad share the link to your strict mom you guys are amazing and I surprise your parents your strict parents surprise them don't just always accept to collect from them surprise them like me i always buy presents for my dad even yeah. though even if it's after a fight but I buy something for him, and it's always yes. like, hmm, after I finish beating this, this girl, girl she, she still loves me. Yes. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Bye. 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 <laughs>